Hello everyone, today I'm going to share a review and flip through of Around the World with picture books from Beautiful Feet Books. This is their part one. They do have two parts to this curriculum. Uh, the first one covers four different continents, 11 different countries, and it is a world geography and culture curriculum. I'm so excited to start using this next year with my kids, and I figured that right now while everybody is in the oh my gosh what do i use for next year <laughs> i would share this flip through with you guys hopefully make your decision a little easier on whether it's something that you do or don't want to use the one thing that i really love about this is it doesn't just cover geography it also covers art and history and science through nature studies so this could really be like the perfect all-in-one curriculum outside of your math and language arts. And that, my friends, is amazing. <laughs> so this looks really, really fun. I'm gonna turn around the camera and I'm gonna show you guys a, um, a flip through of the teacher's guide, what some of the lessons look like, and then I'm gonna do a quick flip through of each one of the books that accompanies this curriculum. So you guys can get like an overall like well-rounded idea of what everything looks like and the planes they hate me uh, you're gonna hear them but not in the flip through so I apologize <laughs> all right you guys so let's jump into the teacher's guide like I mentioned this is gonna be for part one they do have a part two to this curriculum now if you are familiar with beautiful feet books at all you know that they take a Charlotte Mason approach to learning which is absolutely wonderful here you're gonna get a table of contents then it kind of gives you just like a little welcome letter to this telling you how it covers Asia Antarctica Australia and Africa then over here, they go into a little bit about nature studies and what you're going to be doing, as well as where to find the continent song that they uh, refer to within the lessons, and then items that you're going to need for the art studies. Right here, it just gives you a little spiel about how to use this guide, and I really love, um, I believe it's right here, how they focus the on the fact that this is just a guide. It's not meant to be anything very rigid and controlling and kind of like just make you feel like oh, overwhelmed. And then in this section, they talk about how um, they don't have any worksheets, which is one of my very favorite things about this curriculum, but they do have notebooking. So you get a notebook with this curriculum and then your child will fill out the sheets daily um, or every couple of days on the information that they are learning. For example, in this one, they're going to do art studies. They're going to do some geography. They're going to learn certain facts. So that's where they will record all of these things is in their notebook. And then here are the list of all of the books that are used in this study and a little bit about each one. And then now they jump into the lessons. So to go over just what, you know, some of the lessons look like, I'm not going to dive into every single lesson, but I will touch on a few different lessons in each like continent study. So in lesson number one, you're going to study Asia in the maps book, and then you're going to have your child note how many countries make up Asia. You're going to compare the size of China and Russia and note any details that your child finds. You're going to have them point out different landscapes, man-made landmarks, and look up any sites that, you know, intrigue them. And then moving forward, you're going to just be <laughs> looking at some of these photos. You're going to do a passport to China and talk about some of the things that you read in your books. And then here is a library connection. So if your child just really gets a passion for you know all things China and they want to go and learn more here are some book recommendations that you can purchase or go check out at the library and then it gives you a little bit of information on what each book is about and they have this for each um, country's section
So on lesson nine, you're going to have what's called art connection, where you're going to be encouraged to have your child try out Chinese brush painting, and then it just walks you through um, a little bit and offers you a website where you can get some important instructions on how to complete this. And then there is also a nature connection. So you're gonna learn about the animals that are commonly found in China, you get a little bit of information on them. They will sometimes give you websites that you can go to or videos that you can watch. And in the back of the book, they have photos that you can color to add into your notebooking pages. Now right here, you're gonna end the lesson on lesson 11 with Chinese cuisine. It gives you a little bit of information about the particular dish that they are um, offering a recipe for, which is Asian noodle soup. And uh, it talks about jasmine tea, how it's a special tea, tea that is rolled and then infused with jasmine blossoms and um, just a little bit of history on that. So that's gonna be a fun way to end your lessons. And then next, we move on to Japan. So to go over a lesson in this one, I'll touch on lesson six. So here you can see it's a little in depth. You're going to read Grandfather's Journey, and then you're gonna discuss, um, this is considered a quiet story. So after reading it, you're gonna discuss what makes it quiet. Then you're gonna move on to discussing the art from the book with your child and talk about how each picture itself tells a story and it's gonna give you prompted questions to ask them. And then it's gonna discuss the characters and what happened, their clothing. You're gonna compare and contrast different parts of the story. And then you're gonna end with asking your child a question about why was nobody smiling? And it goes on to explain Japanese customs. And next they have Japan Library Connection where they will offer you additional book recommendations and then a little bit about each book if you wanna dive a little bit more into Japanese culture and history. They also have some books on history and biographies, some poetry. And then for the art section, it's Japanese woodblock prints. There's the nature connection, some Japanese cuisine. This one doesn't offer you a recipe, but it does talk about the different types of food and a little bit of information. And now we move on to our lesson for Thailand. So it shows you the books up here that you're gonna be covering in these lessons. And on this one, I'm going to point out their nature connection. So in this one, you're gonna read The Lotus Seed. You're gonna discuss the geography of Thailand. You're gonna have prompted questions from the book. And then it's gonna end with researching and drawing a picture of the lotus flower. And then it ends with Thai cuisine. So it gives you um, the recipe to make Thai green curry. And now we're moving on to India. So they do start every new country with having you go into the maps book and finding that country and talking about it and just seeing the different types of climates and things like that that they have. So in this one, it's a little different and really fun. They have a poetry connection, which is basically a poetry study where they give you a little background on the poem and a copy of it for you to read right here, as well as a YouTube recommendation if you would like to hear a beautiful reading of it. And then there is their connections or nature connection study where you can study uh, a snow leopard, one horned rhinoceros, a peacock, and the Bengal tiger. There's the library connection and history and biographies in case you'd like some additional literature to dive in a little deeper into India. And then it ends with giving you a recipe for Indian yellow curry and then as well as some information on it as well. And then right here, I thought this was really fun that they have a whole lesson dedicated to the Taj Mahal and its history and uh, just a few pictures. Now we are jumping into Antarctica. Now to give you guys an idea of what one of the nature connections look like, 
Um, all of these discuss different animals that are commonly found in whatever lesson you're in. And then it offers movie suggestions on the animals as well as basic information on them and just fun facts. And then once you get to this area, that, like I mentioned earlier, there are pages in the back for the student to cut out and they get to color them and put them in their notebook. And then this one ends with Ernest Shackleton's Bannock. I've never had a Bannock. It looks a little bit like a pancake from the picture, if you guys can see that. If you've had a Bannock, let me know how it is. <laughs> now we're going to move into Australia. And you get the library connection. So for lesson three in this one, you are going to discuss the indigenous people of Australia, how they, um, you know, how it's believed that they came to arrive on that continent. You're going to be encouraged to go and research a little further into them. And then it gives you photos in the back to cut out color and paste into your student's notebook. The next lesson is a culture connection and it gives you a folk song to look up from Australia and then it also gives you some words and their meanings that are found in that song. Then you move on to your nature connection, some poetry, and then it moves on to Australian cuisine. So instead of giving you a recipe here, they more so give you um, the dishes that are unique to Australia and a little bit of information on each, what they look like. All right, so that should give you guys a fairly good idea of what you can expect from all the different types of lessons. Their art lessons, their, their um, qu cuisine lessons, their initial like lesson one and things like that. So I'm just going to flip through the rest of the teacher's guide so you guys can see if um, this is something that you do want to work into your homeschool. And then once I'm done flipping through this, I will flip through the all of the books that come in this curriculum set so you guys can just get an idea of what those books look like because I know that that is equally <laughs> important to a lot of us who love reading and love seeing beautiful photos in our curriculums. Now getting to the very end of the book, here is what I was talking about with the pages that your child will go and cut out, color, and paste into their notebooks depending on the country that you are currently studying. And then there is the geography and the country's flag that your child will also learn. Alright, now we are into the books that are part of this curriculum. So here is the first book that you are going to use quite a lot. It is the book that they refer to in the first lesson for every single country. And this is a pretty large book. Like here's the teacher's guide and here is <laughs> the size of the book. So it's pretty long. But it is also beautiful. Now when I do the flip throughs of these books, I'm just going to flip through them very quickly, not doing um, every single page. I just kind of want you guys to have an overall idea, but I think to flip through like 20 something books is just going to take <laughs> a very long time.
guys, so that is the end of the flip through. If you are interested in checking out Beautiful Feet books and all of the amazing curriculums that they have, I will link their website down below in the description bar. So make sure that you check it out if you are interested in this. Uh, it is an affiliate link. I do just want to mention that. It does not change the price for you at all. It just gives me like a small percentage of the sell, which I'm so grateful for to all of you who use those. Um, but we have really, truly enjoyed Beautiful Feet books. We have used their American history. We have used their teaching character through uh, literature and their history of science. And we have loved all of their, and then also their geography. So I'm gonna link those reviews and videos down below in case you're interested in any of their other curriculums. They are so much fun. So I am really looking forward to this particular curriculum and just all that it has to offer so let me know down below if you plan on using this curriculum and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up hit that red subscribe button and i'll see you guys again next time bye